Hey, welcome back to the big board. Let's have a quick look at turn three, end of the German mechanized or motorized phase, which is their, basically their exploitation movement of motorized mechanized units. Anything with a red box on the map and a, either a white or red, sorry, a white or yellow numeral inside it is eligible to be moved half their movement rate. One thing that is interesting, these these numbers here, sometimes they're hard to tell which ones are, are white or or yellow. <clears throat> and that's valuable for infiltration movement because yellow factors have uh, have infiltration movement. So had a lot of fun manipulating and juggling supply this turn, and we managed to get all of the 12 uh, MSUs or ASPs, whatever you want to call them, onto the map. And I, I think we used them correctly. But I thought I would give you a quick look at the board, see what the situation was. Uh, so in the middle here, if you looked at last a couple of last turns, pictures, you saw this is probably a larger circle. It's now contracted. And I am tying up quite a few units here. But it, it's worthwhile to capture VP hex here and uh, Bialystok here. That's another VP hex. And we have to clear these guys out, otherwise we start losing VPs at turn 10. And given that it's turn three and everybody's already in emergency supply and it's gonna go to OOS next turn, that means these guys are gonna start rolling for losses if I keep units adjacent to everybody. Uh, so there's a little bit of a, a game going on, a game within a game going on there. But uh, so this is kind of the, the slow slogging work, but we did have some interesting little breakthrough areas, and I thought I'd share those with you. Uh, we ha had a lot of combat around Grodno. Even though we took Grodno on turn one, uh, the Russians decided to hunker down here because this is a key area, for, not only for rail. Ooh, I've got to move rail guys now because it's the engineering phase. But um, anyway, uh, we, we have this opportunity. They had this opportunity here to slow things down. And I, they did an okay job, uh, really kind of expensive. It cost me VPs because when you lose artillery and armor and HQs, every eight of those you lose, you lose a VP. So all, all the Germans gain a VP. Oh, excuse me. This is uh, tiring work, but... Uh, Anyway, we got in there and uh, broke that up a little bit, forced these guys to retreat. All the HQs are non-op. I rolled really badly for just about all of them except for this one here, so a bit of a mess. Uh, anyway, so that's all going well. Up here, over here, into the south, I've got 13th Panzer, 4th Panzer, 17th Panzer, moving pretty briskly. pretty briskly towards this southern defensive line of Minsk. Minsk is right here on the, on the top of the screen there. Maybe just out of view, I can't tell from the camera. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so we've got some new strong point lines or fortified lines we're gonna to have to deal with and pretty strung out. Next turn, these guys are gonna be out of supply or in emergency supply mode, which doesn't affect them, right? The first turn of, of that but it will affect them the following turn. And then by then I hope to have caught my supply up or at least pushed enough trucks up here to keep everyone in supply. We'll feed off the map for a turn if we need to. I'm looking to avoid fighting all of this here. That's pretty tough stuff here. I wanna go around it. I wanna go through here if I can. And this is pretty weak right now, but Soviets realize that they're probably gonna reinforce this section here uh, with the view that we can kind of avoid Minsk if we, if possible. The only way I want to tackle it is coming at it directly from this angle. You can see that there right here. We've got two Panzer divisions out of supply. Still, still had combat against weak units this turn. Had to do the plus two, but I had a, a bazillion to one attack. 
Uh, plus two on that, I'll take the chances of something bad happening. There's nothing actually that can bad that can happen at 10 to one. So you may as well go ahead and attack even though you're out of supply. You still get your exploit movement. You have less movement points, minus two movement points. Now that's a good point. Uh, actually, I don't know if my exploit movement will be reduced by two MP as well. So it doesn't say no motorized movement here. It just says no reaction, no fire, and no overrun. That means you can't use artillery uh, with these guys. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll work that out, but no overruns were done here, so that's all good. So they're, they're just hanging out there waiting for the guys to catch up. We've got another force to the left of them, or the E, the west of them, over here that's consolidating. They had some cleanup to do as well. There was a, a unit here on the rail line which we're gonna convert in a second. And that uh, leads up into Vilnius. Once I can get that rail line up to here, then we can start pushing more aggressively. I'm feeling a little thin up in this area. I've only got a small handful of infantry divisions and I'm slowly trying to reorient some of the forces more up into this, this zone uh, to, to help out a little bit. Uh, I showed you the center. There's Brest down here on the left-hand side and uh, had to kind of slow things down and adjust on my, on my movement here. After I moved, I, I realized that I had not kept the encirclement going. So I had to uh, adjust my move. I think if you, if you go look, excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, I think it's kind of late. Um, where was I? Uh, I, I? If you look at some of the pictures, you'll see that I had some units stacked up here and I, I just retraced their steps back to here and moved them this way to uh, keep that coverage going. There's no zone of control for this guy, but between him and these two dudes that builds some zocks, which then allows us to, whoops, this guy got bumped allows us to keep the keep all this uh, stuff here in, in uh, the isolated mode that they need to be in right so that's all I want to show you oh let's move uh, let's I know you know what I'm not going to move the railheads now because there's uh, a couple of little funky things you can do here and I, I need to better think about that versus have you listening or watching dead air while I do that. We'll just leave it here and I'll show you where the railheads are uh, sometime in turn four. Take care.